back. And my wife said that my airplane won't fly. And she said it ain't gonna fly so bad because why? It's a stick. It's not aerodynamic. That's not why. What's up everybody? Russ with rwgresearch.com. I need a haircut. I got stuff in my hair. I've been working. Oh. So, here's what we got. We've got a Nemesis. I have a video of this being crashed. I'll show you. You want to see it? All right, here we go. Watch this. I think he's going to land it. Yeah. I think he's going to try to land it. It is really squirrely. Hopefully he can glide it down just fine. Oh, no, no, no. Speed, air, speed, air, speed, air, speed, air, speed. Air speed. Oh, oh no, 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 That, that was the squirreliest takeoff and flight I've seen you fly. Okay, so now that you're back, you saw what happened. I have not filmed this, but I started repairing it. So this was ripped, broke, snapped. This was like broken all the way back into here. This whole thing was broken. I kind of just pushed it back together, put a bunch of super glue on it, put packing tape over the top of it, heat shrinked it, and we're back in business. So here's the plan. I have these two wings. I have this body, okay, which is broken, obviously. I have this landing gear, which is also pretty broken. One wheel hat's okay, this wheel hat's pretty messed up. It's pretty well crunchy bangy. So, I think what I'm gonna do, I fixed the wings. I think what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna cut this thing off and just use the tail. And use the rest of the plane that's good because, you know, look how much intricate detailed work's going on for the woodwork. There's a lot. There's no way I'm fixing the front. But, I think what I'll do is I'll cut the tail off fix the wings and make this a stick literally i'm gonna find a stick no joke like this or maybe even something really big like this and i'm going to fix the wings onto it okay don't have enough room in here i'm gonna fix the wings onto it put the tail onto the end strap some batteries and screw a motor on the front and make a stick they call them sticks so let's do that. Let's try to turn this piece of trash into a stick and see if we can't get it to fly. This makes your heart break, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna have to clean that up anyway. Okay, anyway, let's get started. Let's see if we can get this done. Now, I wanna get this done in literally, like, a couple of hours, no more. Here we go, let's get, let's get it, let's get it. My goal was about two hours. I'm about, uh, I don't know, two and a half hours into this thing. Something like that. And this is basically what it looks like. I've got the motors mounted. Yep, I only have two small motors. I didn't have one big one. I think it needed more power, so I gave it all the power it needed. Got the wings on there. Got the gear on got the tail glued on and yeah I mean this thing is I mean look at it it's basically ready to go basically the hardware is done and I got to do the electronic pieces and hardware so motor controllers servos which I do have these things my friend Mark who gave me this thing still has those I'm gonna get them from servos get the CG, get the battery, receiver. I might put a flight controller in it just to try to save me from going upside down and crashing on the first flight. I can flip it into manual and see how easy it is to fly, but I think I'm gonna put a flight controller on it just to get me past that edge. I probably have an old one that'll work. Okay, we'll see what I can get done next. So, 
we're out here in this beautiful land of the desert at the pump track and my wife said that my airplane won't fly and she said it ain't gonna fly so bad because why it's a stick it's not aerodynamic that's not why you said because i put two props and motors on the front and it's a flat stick in the front that made it worse so you bet me fifty dollars if i win and or two dozen, dozen donuts, donuts if you me. win and what is the win how do how do i win it has to be in the air flying and you have to land it. Well, I can smash it into the dirt in a million pieces and that's considered a landing. No, it's it's a crash landing. No, that was not the agreement in bed that night. Oh, so I can't crash land it? No. I have to land it elegantly? Correct. Winner, I'm going to win. No, you're not. Let's see you on the other side. <laughs> Let's go. It's a beautiful day, by the way. Beautiful. Donut. boys and girls here we are we did it it took six times longer than my two hour quote probably took even longer than that but here we freaking are i did order a set of counter rotating props and you might go why did you put a hammerhead on the front of this thing well it does kind of look like a hammerhead shark but the reason i did that is because well i didn't have a big enough motor a single motor for this contraption so i put two counter rotating blades on here and it looks well, it looks hilarious, to be honest. I got two 50 amp ESCs that do not have BESCs, which I did not know until I got it on here. Got my LiPo strapped onto the top with a piece of wood strapped onto that so I can actually attach it. Flip this thing upside down without breaking everything. Down here we've got a power splitter uh, that goes to each BSC with a wire going up here to the battery. We've got our BE uh, ESC, B, C, uh, words, okay. Battery eliminator circuit here, 6 amp, just what I had laying around, because I didn't know this, but these don't have any power. Uh, here we've got our flight controller, which apparently I need to put a better piece of tape on there, I'll do that. This is a, uh, copter control. This is a very old flight controller, but it gives me stability, so that if this thing is totally uncontrollable, it will work fairly decent, hopefully. Uh, hooked up to a uh, Free Sky, fry, Fly Sky, uh, I don't know. It's an FR something 8A receiver. Got my antenna taped to a zip tie. And I got my servos back here. So I went ahead and did dual servos and one big giant one for the tail. And then here we've got the old school big Futaba, big Futaba. So if you don't know, big old Futaba, man. Those are some of my favorite old school servos you can find them everywhere and they're pretty robust so they work so this is dual um dual control i could mix this into some crazy spins but that's not what i'm using it for i'm just using small servos hot glued into position that's it so let me fire this thing up we're going to do a quick power test see how many amps this thing pulls switch around let's just see what kind of amps are all we got <laughs> pretty loud but uh 40 amps of full power i don't know why that won't fly and also wake up all the neighbors ah let's get out there and fly boys and girls i got a bet to win okay here we are they gonna fly they gonna no, fly it's not. It's hilarious. It looks like a fly eyeball with a dragonfly body. Okay. Here we go. Try again, try again. Hold on, I got it. 
gotta get it off the dirt. Yeah. Very squirrely. Yeah. I don't know, it just turned and squirrely. Eh, kinda. It's breezy. Oh, it's the cat. Looks just like your takeoff when you're trying to fly this thing all together. That doesn't give me confidence. I'm ready. Dirty girls. Well, he needs a bigger motor for it to be one propeller. Okay, well, you win. I win! Let's go see what the damage is. Yeah, unplug the battery. Yeah. Yeah, you could just... I don't know about that. The wing's fine. The body... I mean, you just... some. Yeah, the props are destroyed, but... Mommy's scream was hysterical. We're out here to learn new things. What did we learn today? <laughs> yeah, Elijah crashed his P-51 Mustang over there last today, earlier. I owe my wife donuts. I swear that this thing was going to fly great. I really, really did. And the unfortunate truth is, it was really squirrely taking off. Yeah. Really, really squirrely. So to get it even in the air was short of a miracle. Well, what do you do, Elijah? Don't fly in the wind. Try, try again, that's what you do. Everybody knows Russ Grease does not give up that easily. Perseverance, my friends. Let's go get her did. Well, Elijah, I fixed it. Yeah. I literally screwed the stick together with a piece of aluminum. We're gonna send it. I got non counter rotating props they have more thrust the wheel is still squirrely but i'm going to fly it manually without the flight controller because it seems squirrelier with the flight controller so just tuning or something i don't know either way i moved the cg forward we got to get this thing a couple of flights now i'm not convinced but it might just go straight into the ground again however if i can get a couple of high speed taxis out of it then i'll feel comfortable so let's go try it i'm gonna do a couple of high speed taxis just to see if we can keep this thing going straight. Um. Maybe. We got to be able to arm it. Crosswind, but it's not terrible. So, so much better already with it in manual like that. It's a little squirrely, but... I mean, last time I couldn't even get going. Alright. We sending it? Yep. yep. There we go. Actually... I'm going to do a pre-flight check just to verify that all the surfaces are actually correct. I don't want it to be a controller problem. Left, right, up, down, left, right. Okay, you got a good, good film analyzer? Yep. Alright. All I can do is send it. So let's send it. Oof. Okay. It's in the air. I was gonna 
gonna say. We're flying. Doesn't look like it has no speed. It's, it's, it's good. CG feels nice. I'm gonna put it in auto manual and see if it flies. Okay, that's stabilized. Seems like it's making a weird sound. It's in stabilized and it's flying fine. It's just the takeoff. Yeah, it's making a weird sound. Because I got two props flying the same direction. Okay, I'm coming in for a low pass. Come. It's flying, Elijah! Yeah! And I took off in manual. I put it in stabilized because I just don't trust myself, especially with the low sun. We're going to come in for a low pass here. That's a stick! Legitimately, an actual piece of wood I found. Copy that. Alright. You made an airplane. So, should I land it? Uh, that was the goal. I mean, I would give it one more loop. I <laughs> gotta shake from the Hey, I'm flying it. Ha! And you know what's really funny, Eliza? What? I was gonna buy my wife donuts. Now I just don't get any extra credit. <laughs> but here we go, let's do a landing. Landing, left or right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna pick it up. does fly. The stick actually does fly. Oops, I just crunched it. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a stick. It's literally a stick that I screwed back together. Look at this. Literally screwed it back together. <laughs> yes! I was right. My wife is still wrong. Just kidding. We're both right. And yeah. now she gets donuts and I get to eat some. And I have a plane stand there. Hey, what are we doing? I'm getting my donut. What for? Because I won the bet. You crashed your plane. Yeah, and then I flew it. And then we flew it, so we both win. We both win. All right, let's go get donuts. Daddy, you could do that for me. Huh? You could do that for me. I know, I actually thought about that so many times. Pink box. Look at this place. This place is actually pretty red. Mama wins. Good job. Bye bye. Peace and love, God bless, have a good day, bye-bye.